Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday. It is bargain beer review time once again, but before we get cracking on the beer review, um, as you know we always like to pose a couple of uh, questions for life's uh, unanswered uh, mysteries. Um, are leprechauns really real? And how come when you're driving, if somebody overtakes you, they're a maniac because they're going way too quickly, but when you're stuck behind somebody, they're a really bad driver because they're going way too slow. Anyway, up today we have from our friends at Shepherd Neem. This is Master Brewer's Choice range from supermarket chain Lidl. This cost me 99p. It's Dad's Delight Ale. This is marketed once a year here, once a year here in the UK for Father's Day. Um, on the back it says it's um, amber toffee malt roast dry, bitter and clean. Now the marketing notes on this seems to be to share a beer with your dad and of course there's nothing wrong with that. I hope that Shepherd Neem have done this justice because you don't really want to be sharing bad beer with your dad do you? So let's get this cracked and poured. Standard Shepherd Neem cap by the way. Ooh. Nice bit of can of smoke. Now this has, hasn't been in the fridge but has been in my garage so that's quite cool. We've got a non-nucleated pint glass so let's give this a nice steady away pour here we go and we'll leave that one just there for a second right color wise yeah that is an amber actually that is it's quite funky quite funky color again lights in here is not very good I might have to get break out the old infamous torch again so I'm doing the old torch test, but um, but yeah, that is a nice nice amber colour. Two finger head at the moment. Carbonation. Mm, perhaps this could have done with a non-nucleated. Sorry, with a nucleated glass. There's not a great deal on there, to be honest. However, let's go in for a sniff. Um, there is a faintest whiff of toffee. Um, I'm getting like hedgerow berries in there, very very faint on that as well. But the most overwhelming smell from that is. Imagine a wet tree, and if you stand by a wet tree, you get that that whiff or that smell of dampness bark, bracken, that, that general type of damp smell. Um, next time it's raining, if you've got a tree in your garden, nip out, have a sniff, get a Dazzy Light in the fridge, run back, open it up, have a sniff like what I've done, and you'll think, actually, oh, Christian Brewberry was right, it does smell of damp tree. Um, anyway, that's the that's smell, but let's go in for a taste. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching as always. Cheers, very good health. Ooh. Very bitter. I'm getting quite sharp bitterness on the uh, on the after notes. Um it's actually leaving my mouth quite quite dry. There's no real like first quest qu first quench sensation about this it's if anything for me it's it's a little bit too watery now this will bring me on to a bit of a rant now because if Shepherd's name has marketed it to share a beer with your father for Father's Day then I think they should have maybe done as a one-off maybe use the base of something like one of their um, Bishop's Finger or Spitfire one of their higher echelons of their range because that doesn't quite hit the mark for me um, bear with me just one tick it says on here dry bitter clean now yeah very very dry on the finish for me and that bitterness just completely twangs your mouth it's just it's No, sorry, Shepherd name. Um, hop wise, very, very faint goldings, East Kent goldings in there. 
but nothing to shout home about, shout home about unfortunately. Will I buy it again? No, I wouldn't. Would I share it with my dad for Father's Day? No, I wouldn't. Um, Shepherd Neem, you could have done a lot, lot better, I think, for Father's Day. As I say, maybe uh, rebadged, tweaked one of your more uh, more famous uh, more famous um, brews. But um, score wise, I think normally in the context of Thursday, Thursday is you know a bargain beer. This cost me ninety nine p from uh, Lidl. I would have scored this maybe a six, but. Because it's marketed for Father's Day and all the paraphernalia and hoo-ha that goes off with that, I'm going to have to knock a mark off as well because it doesn't quite do what it says on the tin for me. So that, I think, is a 5 out of 10. Well, that does it for me, everyone. Um, thank you very, very much for watching and we'll see you soon for another uh, bargain beer review right here on uh, Thursday Thursday. Thanks for watching. Be seeing you.